Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this smart toaster. Yes, these toasters are smart. This actually has a lot of automated features to it. Um, now, the company did send me this product for review, but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works. Now, this is a 1,400-watt quick toaster, which means that it's got a lot of power to it. It can toast things very quickly. So I'm going to show you all the bells and whistles and features, and we're going to put it to the test because I got some bread to toast. So let's come on in and take a closer look at this smart toaster. Okay, here's what you're going to get in the package. You are going to get a full user manual, and you're going to get some uh, quick operating instructions and it's just very simple on how to do it i'm going to go over a lot of that with you anyways and you're going to get this seven levels of brown settings so it goes through like each of these types of uh, products bread products and you can see if you like it super toasty toasty or just very light there's all these options here represented by photos you're going to see that on the screen as well you do get a little cap here. It's a little plastic cap that actually just goes right on there and keeps it nice and, and smooth and clean and nothing falling in there. Now, you don't want to put this on like right after you toast or while you're toasting because it gets hot and it's, it's hot in there. And this is just plastic, so you don't want to use it for that. You want to let it cool down first before you put the lid on it. On the back side, you have a real simple press down and release little crumb tray so it's easy to keep clean. Okay, so now this is kind of in a sleep mode. If you just touch the screen it opens up to the main menu. Now, the top part is your bread selection. So if you move this over, you got your bread, your bagel, you can even touch it, your waffle, you've got pastries, we like Pop-Tart kind of things, uh, English muffins, and then back to bread. So lots of different bread options. Once you select that, you can come over to, whether it's a fresh bread, a frozen bread, or just something you need to reheat. Um, I have frozen bread, we're probably going to use that. And then here's your um, selections for the amount of browning from very light. And it, watch the, the bread up here, it actually reflects that um, all the way over to burnt <laughs> or very well toasted. Now because each compartment has two different burning elements, one for both sides of the bread, um, you have your left slice over here and a right slice over here because again it's a two slice toaster, but you can choose to only brown one side of the bread. So if you want one side browned or toasted and the other side not, you can select it to do that. So you can go, um, you know, just the, the you can do it that way, just the left side, just the right side. You can toast all the sides, whatever it is you want. If you don't want one of them to go at all, you just turn it off and you just have one piece. So very super nice there. And then you hit start to start it up. Now, the um, uh, little cogwheel over here is a menu button. You can sec select the time and date, so you can add that into there. Um, a large bagel, if you have large bagels. We, we like a lot of bagels, so we're going to try that uh, one of these days too. Uh, volume, that's your, your volume of your beeping and your tones and stuff on there. Brightness for your screen brightness. And then custom time, you can set custom times or factory reset there. Pretty cool stuff, um, very nice, easy to do and easy to use. It will reset itself and then go down when, um, you know, the screen will go down if it's not used after a few seconds. So um, very nice there. Now let's go get some bread and give it a try and see how this works. Okay, I have a few things to try now. We usually keep our bread frozen. So I have a frozen piece of regular wheat bread. I have a frozen piece of raisin bread. And I have a frozen waffle. It's a blueberry waffle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bread in, which would be the, um, the regular bread slice in here, and the uh, raisin bread over here. So we're going to hit bread for that, because I guess you can't do bread and a waffle at the same time. It probably really doesn't matter. Um, frozen. And we'll go, we'll go four or five. How well do you like your toast? Let's go four. Let's just go in the middle. And what I'm going to do is the right side, I'm going to do, um, actually, excuse me, the raisin bread. Let's do the raisin bread on both sides. And then let's do the regular bread on just one side. We'll do it on the right side. Okay, so now I got those breads in here, both frozen. I have everything selected. Uh, we're going to hit start. Now, one of the other things on this is once you do start this, it tells you what's going on, tells you how many minutes or seconds left, and it has this feature called have a quick, quick look. So if I press that, it actually will pop up to have a quick look. My, my bread got stuck in there, and then goes back down. So 
<laughs> and it'll continue toasting if you want to do that. Now this one here, uh, preserve heat would be if you wanted to just keep things warm, you can do that or you can cancel it. So we're gonna go ahead and toast this. Looking in there, this one has the red glowing heating elements on this side, but not this side. And this one has it on both sides. Okay, so I toasted it. So here we go. And it's got uh, a little nice little toast on both sides. And this one here has toast on one side and not the other. So that worked pretty good. Let's go ahead and do a, let's do a waffle. I have a waffle. I'll just put it into one side. And it is a frozen. And I'm going to turn those off because we don't need it. And I'm going to toast it on both sides there and hit start. Okay, there we go, and the uh, waffle is toasted like perfectly on both sides. So there you have it, a quick little look at this smart toaster. It's got some really great features, uh, really easy to use, and, uh, and it looks pretty cool too. So if you're looking for a smart toaster like this, this one may be the right one for you.